Carlson, by the way, that uh, sounds absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm going to show you what this is. So this uh, is kind of an idea that I've had for a long time, and it's based on some guitars that you might or might not be able to see over here um, that I happen to love. They are super thin body guitars, um, and they resonate and ring out like no one else, just like this one does. Um, so this is the B.A. Ferguson flyweight. This is a crazy idea that I had one day where I called Boot and said, Hey, I got a crazy idea. Um, let's do something. And this is what happened. So this is the something that we did. Um, super thin body, poplar body, um, that's around 1.2 inches thick or thin, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, makes it really lightweight. Balance is really nice. Mahogany neck. Um, absolutely gorgeous. You can see the B.A. Ferguson Flyway branding there. Um, and uh, they're going to offer these in two different models. Uh, this first model, which is what we're dealing with here, is the uh, single pickup version. This one has a P90 in it. Um, I have another one sitting over there, but I'm not going to worry about getting it out right now. Um, and um, it has two dog ear gold foils. Uh, the pickups are from Lawler. Um, they sound absolutely amazing. They uh, work wonderfully and just have a great sound to them. I don't know really what else to say. You know what Lawler is. If you don't, then I don't know. Learn what Lawler is. It's time. Um, so these are uh, excellent guitars. They have the rap tail bridge. Um, and the idea behind this was to build something thin, lightweight, that was just a stripped down rock and roll machine that was made in America. Um, out of quality wood um, with a quality build process um, that was actually affordable to players, um, not to just lawyers and, uh, you know, the investment bankers that want to sit around in their bedrooms and play, but something that you can actually go and gig out with and not be worried about. And um, that's what this is. This is your guitar to go and play. Um, so like I said, comes with a single pickup version, comes in a dual pickup version. Um, you can get gold foils, you can get P90s, um, and uh, either option is gonna sound great. Has uh, clay dots for the inlays, uh, that's real clay, it's like legit clay uh, for the inlays there. Um, fingerboards are, uh, what is the wood that the fingerboards are? Catalogs. Catalogs. Mexican Catalogs. ebony. Okay, there we go, Mexican ebony fingerboards. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I didn't know that because I was just playing it and I love it already. So I uh, didn't really worry about what the fingerboard material is. Um, the nut is a, a micarta nut right there. Uh, you can see it's a little kind of grayish looking. Um, and it's really cool because it gives it a little bit more like sustain and I guess it rings out a little bit more because of that, at least a little more than I'm used to. Due in part to this, uh, in part to the body thickness in part to the bridge, you know, that's kind of a sum of all the parts type scenario happening there. But yeah, um, these things are amazing guitars and uh, they're going to be affordable guitars and you're going to love them and you need to get one. They're going to come in uh, three different colors to start. I've got the black one right here. We've got a uh, kind of a seafoam green boots migrating over this way to get that. Um, and then there's going to be a, a red as well. Um, so you're actually about to be able to see um, the, uh, the green here. Here we go. Look at there. The not so magic magic of non-TV. Um, so this is the, one that, the other one that I was talking about. Uh, you got your uh, three-way selector switch right there. Uh, your single volume, single tone, and you've got your uh, Lawler uh, dog ear uh, gold foils right there. Um, once again, thin bodies. 
Um, amazing, amazing tone between the two of these. Um, incredibly versatile machines that can just be fun guitars for you to go and rock out with. Um, and so, like I said, we've got black, we've got this kind of awesome green here that's very reminiscent of one of my old silver tones over here that I happen to love. And um, there's a red in the works as well, uh, you know, and who doesn't like red? So there might be some other colors coming down the line, but there won't be any promises made on that for right now. Those are the three options, and um, it's going to be something killer. You're going to love it. I already do. There you go.